Hello there. Today I want to make some tea towels with our Chalk Couture ink. And I have these awesome new transfers. Kitchen's closed, the Severs had it, and Wicked Chickens lay deviled eggs. So I'm gonna make a couple tea towels with those today. Um, the tools I have are this old Cricut mat. Um, Chalk Couture does have a mat, but it's discontinued at the moment. So there's two things, two reasons you need a mat. One, the ink bleeds through material. Two, this is kind of sticky, kind of. So it's gonna hold my material in place while I'm rubbing the ink on it. Um, I have my water bath over here for my transfers when I'm done with them. Obviously I have my transfers, I have my tea towel, I have my squeegee, and I have my ink. And I think I'm gonna use this blue today, Midnight Sky, Chalk Couture ink. I have, um, and then I have my Cricut Easy Press, which is like a heat press, kind of. And that's how you set these, is you have to heat set them. You could also do it with an iron. Um, so you, once, once your image is dry on your material, you run the iron over it for like four minutes. You don't move the iron, you just set it on there. They say four minutes. That I, I, I haven't done this yet, so I will let you know for sure. But four minutes seems like it would burn your material, but we'll see. So um, I'm gonna pick the spot that I want to put my transfer on here. And tea towel, these little flower sack towels are hard because they're not very, they're not really square. I think that's about right. Make sure I don't have any, or too many. That's the other thing, you don't want any bumps in your material. So see how that's sticking to my mat? so that it's not gonna move. And if this is crooked, we'll just go with it. I don't think it's gonna be. I just never know. Okay, so since we are using this on material, I don't think we need to fuzz up our transfer. This is the first time I'm using this one. Remember to pull the transfers top to bottom or side to side so you don't stretch the screen print part. And I'm just going to lay this somewhere in the center and hopefully straight. And then get all the air bubbles out so we don't have any bleeding. And this is my first time, so we're trying this together on this material. I haven't done material yet. But we can, so they've been doing pillows, blankets, towels. Um, so the ink is a little bit different consistency than the paste, but we still need to stir it. So I'll we'll stir it up. It's thinner. And it doesn't smell very good either. So I'm gonna use my bigger uh, squeegee since I have a bigger piece to work with. And I'm just gonna rub this on here. This is scary. I hope it works good. Rub off the excess, but make sure I'm getting it in all the little parts of the screen print here. And I, I don't know if you guys remember, but with the chalk you kind of have to work fast because it dries quickly. The ink is a different story. It doesn't dry as fast. So you have a little more time to make sure you got all your areas. And you still don't need a whole lot.
This might be different because it's kind of probably bleeding through. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. It's all an experience. a little more here. I'm going to make sure I get an all. Does anyone have a blue kitchen? I don't have a blue kitchen. But I sold my red ink to Miss Daisy Dominguez. So I'm waiting on my replacement. Because I have a red kitchen. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to just wipe off all the extra back in here real quick don't want to waste any of it it's good stuff and i'll set that there and put my lid back on for the moment and let's see how this turned out I'm gonna peel from the top down. I don't stretch my transfer. Oh my gosh! Do you guys see how cute that is? Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna put that over here in my water bath. So I can get it cleaned up. In the meantime, I'm going to let this one dry. Oh yeah, look at the mess it makes. So, I'm going to get this baby wipe and see if I can't clean it up enough to reuse it real quick. Otherwise, you might have to let your mat dry too before you move on. So this is stuff is permanent. So you don't want to get it on your clothes or, or well, it's, yeah, it stains. So you don't want to get it on your clothes or anywhere else on your project except for where you want the ink. Um, if you're working with, uh, you know, glasses or plates or, I don't know, something else that's not fabric, you can usually clean up your mess as long as you do it. Like if you make a mistake, you can clean that up while it's still wet. This, however, you cannot. 